is well on its way to attaching the European Columbus Laboratory to the ISS and with this creating its first real estate in space. On the 23rd of October, Italian ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli prepared for takeoff on the outbound trip on Space Shuttle Discovery to the ISS. This mission, named Esperia, was exceptional because of the very special payload Paolo was responsible for delivering. The Harmony Node 2 is an indispensable building block in the continuing construction of the ISS. The successful delivery of Node 2 was essential if ESA is to send its state-of-the-art science laboratory Columbus to the ISS with the next planned shuttle flight in December. The Esperia mission had a strong Italian flavour, not only because Paolo is Italian, but also because Node 2 was built in the Italian city of Turin, a well-known centre for the Italian aeronautical industry. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens. This was Paolo's first space flight, and as a mission specialist, his first major task was to inspect the shuttle's tile protection system on flight day two. Discovery had no problems docking on arrival at the ISS, and the crew received a warm welcome. Peggy Whitson, the ISS's commander, and her long-term Expedition 16 crew were clearly happy to receive their colleagues on the largest human outpost ever built in space. One of Paolo's main responsibilities during the mission was his role as intravehicular activity astronaut, meaning he coordinated all planned spacewalks from inside the shuttle. These spacewalks are essential for the ongoing maintenance and assembly of the ISS. One of the aims of the Asperia mission was the successful unloading and outfitting of Node 2. This took place on day four of the mission, and Paolo, as main coordinator and representative of ESA, was the first to enter. To thank everybody that has worked hard in making this possible and allowing the space station to be uh, built even further and preparing the place for the Columbus Laboratory, the European Laboratory, and the Japanese Laboratory. It's through international cooperation that the Asperia mission was made possible. As is common practice in the global space industry, a system of negotiating one favour for another meant that the Italian Space Agency received six flights on the shuttle in exchange for providing three ISS multi-purpose logistic modules to NASA. In the same spirit of common purpose, ESA agreed to supply Node 2 and 3 to NASA, both of which are fundamental to the continued assembly of the ISS, in exchange for NASA's launch and delivery of the Columbus Laboratory to the ISS. The addition of Europe's science laboratory Columbus to the ISS represents the start of the full scientific utilization phase of the European Human Spaceflight Programme. This will allow Europe to reap the fruits of its investments in the very near future. After the installation of Node 2, Nespoli explained the node's function during an in-flight call with Italian President Giorgio Napolitano. Hello, Mr. President. As you can see, I'm standing in the center of the node, which on one side will have the European laboratory and on the other the Japanese laboratory. This is the central point for the development of the ISS, without which the station would not be complete. We are proud to have brought this piece of Italy with us into space. You could call this the contribution of our industry, the Italian Space Agency and ESA. So it's really an Italian product, a real European product, which is very important here on board the space station. Nice to see you and hear you too, Commander Melroy. I would like to thank all of Italy for the many beautiful gifts that you have given the world. And among them are the Node 2 Harmony, which we are currently inside. But the other gift I would like to thank you for is my crew member, Paolo Nespoli, who is a wonderful astronaut. He has done a terrific job. He's very smart, and he works extremely hard, and we're very proud of him. We are very proud about what is being developed for this program in the framework of the Esperia mission. The mission continued according to plan until day eight, 
when the redeployment of a solar array caused a tear in its fabric. The mission was now redirected to fixing the damaged solar array that is key to generating the necessary power for the Columbus Laboratory. Paolo was instrumental in planning and executing the solution for this unexpected problem. He and his crewmates fashioned a tool from existing materials aboard the ISS to be used in the repair of the fabric during a dedicated spacewalk on day 11 of the mission. As well as helping in the preparation of the spacewalk, Paolo was also responsible for guiding the astronauts from inside the shuttle during this long and complex repair detail. This was the fourth spacewalk coordinated by Paolo during his two-week stay on the ISS. Despite this unexpected and demanding rescheduling, Paolo successfully completed all aspects of his mission before taking leave of the long-stay crew in a rather tearful goodbye ceremony. The two crews have worked together so well that this is uh, one that we will always remember. We're family now. What a way to end the mission. After weeks in space and a successful undocking, it only remained for Paolo and his crew to make the return journey home. Having overcome unforeseen problems, the main objective of the Asperia mission had been achieved. With the delivery and attachment of Node 2 to the ISS, it's now possible to send Europe's Columbus Laboratory to the ISS on the STS-122 shuttle flight on the 6th of December as planned. <laughs>